Welcome to the Augusta Lee Podcast. This week, we got a big week for the podcast, so let's get to it. Raw and raw, raw this week and raw. Okay, this week's raw. Okay, this week's raw. Let's talk about this week's raw. Uh, raw. <laughs> Five days for WWE to send on Travel Fred for Rumble. Monday is Raw featured the return of Pelican and the face of the competition roads. And the moment fans have been waiting for since four and return in November. The competition headline podcast included update on the help of Seth Rollins. That's the future of the World Heavy Channel reports of a significant knee injury. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. So, let's get to it. Yeah. Yeah. During the battle of Bass between Drew Matthau and Drew Priest, he's down home raw point nine nice pay per view is packed with news with moments. What went down? How did Drew read out? Follow this week will be covered July twenty second from the Smooth King Center in New Orleans. Uh, right here is the card update Rollins regarding his future as a world heavyweight champion. Punk Road face to face. McIntyre versus Priest. Gable vs. Ivar, Ivy Nile vs. Valhalla, Mrs. vs. Dominic Mysterio. Seth Rollins dressed as World Champ, Heavyweight Champion in the future. The World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins told the universe he would not miss WrestleMania. The visionary value of everything in power to compete. Okay, Amora. He said to fight his knee injury. This is not despite a new threat from the Recon Champ Gunther, who wrote this promo and claimed he will win the men's Rumble on Rumble last Saturday night and challenged Seth Rollins. Mm. It's a perfect book settlement game. He must big news Rollins top of the show. The thing Gunther has a legit threat to win the Rumble. The potential match he a tender between General and the Visionary. In with Open Kingston and Xavier Woods attacking Ludwig Kaiser and Drew by Advance. I have that match. Hence the segment. This is a great way to kick off the show. Uh, yeah. Great. And uh, Rollins here at the show. Air base of this ring. This ring. The guy in the moment not lost on our love door of the rest of the universe. He may not like Miss O'Mania said. Uh, makes me sick. Got the set. The Dream General claimed he would win the Men's Rumble Challenge Rollins for the title. So show show when he tagged his knee and the rest of his body for beating him becoming world champion. So the New Day versus Imperium. They have a title match between New Day and they were Woods and Perrin Luke would cut during advance, set on nothing as hate between the two boiled over the ball on the floor. Double count was was only the beginning of the action. With the f- fight spilling on the right side, sent four men across the table, but then set a point in a segment. So really created a ton of credit for taking what feel like a nice unknown car program between two team talents and turning it into one of the most surprisingly tested rivalries in the company. If nothing else, it gives New Day a much more near edge, provided Kaiser meant something to do meaning to intervene cronies for Gunther. New Day fought Pyram to a double count out. Triple H created Team 4 wrestling ball has done a great job building this view in a strong tag team program, testing on this one point. Michael Cole revealed, revealed Kingston will compete in the rum, men's Rumble Saturday. The brawl in the contest build crowds just that they're likely giving about perhaps a street fight settled once for all. Both teams crashing out the equipment the case through a table on the floor is close about the end of chaos. I beat Nyan versus Valhalla. Whatever. Not also a measure of revenge for the her friend Dupree. It's Battle of Valhalla. Viking Raiders and one of my match. Dupree counter beneath Nile. Back and forth contest short lived. The clue with Nile delivering the middle rope. Rebulldo dubbed the pit bull by Way Bird for the win. Mm-hmm. Yep. For the win, yep. Look for her. This was too short makes it good. Valhalla did not have near time to shake off ring rust. Facial expression of body anguish made up for it. Above that, it was a fine showcase for Nile, who should be doing something new in the women's division. Now to fear Valhalla and this is the Gary Sand Valley on the Rose, which she wrapped the teeth around as Cole Leaper, her a weirdo. Barrett twist called out Cole's frustration with Valhalla and bare feet, even nothing to do with what's going on between the ropes. Okay, uh, now Jax. From out. I'm telling you, interrupted by Becky Lynch, Bailey. Uh-huh. All right, now Jax. Yeah. 
Let's go. Nia Jax started to talk about her plans, but not make the women's rebel match. She ended up showing the world what she's capable of. You're about to buy Becky Lynch. Just smacked up Bailey. Lynch down the mode model. Man handle slam for Jax. Tossed the man to the floor. What's the toss? Hold on. And one segment of the first angle of Fallon's feuds and her drama participation in women's rumble. What's the point of getting the star power involved? Calling fans across the street for the last four years. And it's close. He probably injured half of them, Lynch said, of Jack's relationship with women's locker room. And we got Bailey saying she's going to win the Royal Rumble, point the WrestleMania sign. The Miz versus Dominic. So Ripley issued an edict to Brent Ballard ahead of Dominic's showdown with Miz to see the aggressive side of the Irishman. She got to tell a taste of it. Prince Della Chief shot the Miz at 10 off at 619 and cost him the match. DUI is again on Trump, hit the ring, take the safe A list to teeth, and the trails match that could occur soon as next week. The contest was perfect, set up thanks to the Miz's ability to work with anyone, consistent improving ring work. It was undone by too much interference, by more, but still a solid so everyone involved, a slow bird, a little genre day split continues. Ziggo, so which Damian Creese cut a promo backstage, had a man of back and dramatic talk his absence. Did they gear he wore his Puerto Rico inspired shirt instead? Hits him his uh, penny on safe from the group. Stereo defeated Miz. Backstage, Lynch came face to face with Rhea Ripley, who told her to make other plans for WrestleMania 40. Harry shoes backstage Riff Biff R Troop told Miz not to tag in to warn him not to watch out for Tom Nick Mysterio. <laughs> but it was earlier we heard Diane Price warned Troop that Germany would bring a hammer down on him and he doesn't want anything bad to him. Bad happen to friend the teasing budding friendship. Man. The Miz broke out of Springboard caused by Prude and even late career he's above using new moves. We go to Chad Gable versus Ivar. Safi heard this point. Chad Gable and Ivar had a bang on the match. Unsung performance of Raw toward the house that went over to New Orleans route to Red Raiders Raider Factory. Valhalla making the match to start the surging Gable the last week so the pre cost the big man match and Kazara Zawa for now. Deliver big moves on the gable that was attained a victory. It was a fantastic bout. Crowd. Put on the foul finishes. First, the two talented wrestlers looking for a fan. Appreciate it. Awesome. The outcome suggests that the feud will continue, but one has to remember how much life how much Alpha can and Viking Red program is very stretched. I've already defeated Gable. Bad Shay brought the lead out to challenge. The Jay Silver the match next week Raw. Elsa Dupree present Gail a thank you rally towel there with Solwell. Tate able to be the top row credible so getting a risk involved. Uh, Cody for you some roots and face to face. I don't want to say that. That's the segment of the week. Sam Rude to face in the ring. What's the promo segment? The men's war room vibe spent late dusty. Took a day to shudder for punk claims more like his father. Son, I can nightmare fire the tort claims more punk than a man standing by him. And or for the Ollie wrestling, it's usually the other men leading promotion and spent reasonable adaptations that two great talk leader should restore by recalling the leading life history. General men saying Mary and I can read with the tennis chair down instead of tennis side the tree. The men's rumble. More importantly, the plan seeds for a potential showdown between two up and Bayface and Raw, so Rose I won't be able to complete WrestleMania, and WWE needs a backup plan. When Megan Green asked you to be the favorite, he said yes. Punk said Dusty Rose quest to keep the eye on Cody back in 2007. 
The King of France, that's what makes him bittersweet, bro. He said it was your punk. Never penny will battle on Saturday on a rumble. More American Jr. You are. Said, signing his blood, both clothes, rock, rock. Like W.E. and Pat's torch, you dropped it. I know you picked it up. About what I did, I walked. When I rise, make more see and punk than roads. Funks and my business started. Came back, ready to take away, finished the story, wrote a story, talking about himself. Well, maybe we're versus Baszler. Should we start? Start. Start continuing to shed the clay. The WWE Women's Tag Team Championship tournament went over against the Ray and the Hartwell. Faces poor hard proof and winning streak for the victory over Chelsea Gray and Devin Ringo. Tennessee their poets. After the match champion, Tans and Hart beat the victim. The troll. To reverse the calls. The Kabuki Warriors to talk calls out the same man for the upcoming class with the champions on Friday's SmackDown. <coughs> Baser start to feel Lorray Hartwell. This was a pack. After Pack Shore to a short window of time, Barrett tra- credited Chances Carter's title veteran for bringing a new life into the women's tag team division. The way Baszler Shark, a constant version of being the life of each other, and opponent has set apart team division better for worse. We got McIntyre for Priest, the buddy of French FT Priest, to Archer face a major setback Monday the main event, and the later is underway to press on Kelsey Art if it be a match against Drew McIntyre. The repeated distractions caused by Archer allowed Scott to pick Rock Priest with a Claymore, score the win. Building the momentum from himself ahead of the Rumble, dealing with Priest on a necessary loss at a time where patience defeats is where it then with the Judgment Day. Mm-hmm. Priest has won a troop earlier than the team is going to bring the hammer down him though add some way made of it play that maybe seeing the money in the bank and does it himself. The loss first one of the best to stories while uh, WI provide back a time much near victory had a rumble, does this rock scotch warrior stand a chance of winning on Saturday? No, nope, but WWE Triple A good good done a good enough job presenting as a threat. He is not appearing upon us alongside of Punk and Rhodes. McIntyre defeated Priest. Microsoft continued to fix your end up his TV despite forcing him not to sign a new company deal. I think this is a, 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 a shoot, but honestly, I don't care. Priest arrives since ALS Able backlash Backlash has been one of the brightest spots on Monday night. His presence and ability are undeniable. The broken arrow from Priest and Mount on non were wicked, they're not <laughs> good at all. The strikes and match heavy and point on point. Here's the overall thoughts from Raw. There was a lot to like about Monday Night Show. Some Raw's and felt like a big deal. There's also a different face-to-face confrontation between Punk and Rhodes, treating us some great ball for New Day, pairing while Chad Gale. I invited the rest of the night. The Judgment Day stood just great the team, but the entry between Press and Ertrus took a step back. Women's Tag Team Division continued to feature on Triple H to drag the roster out of doldrums to prestige. The lack of urgency around the Rumble of the show. The event and men's water rumble match were ahead in central segments, but what well, I should have had a major sell wrote most of the last year past. Past is just Triple H's team and he had done more than enough job selling throwing the rumble match themselves. Maybe it was over the long running time for Raw that prevents the go home show feel. Whatever that case it was a lack of money night. There's more good than that bad enough to earn the show better earn the show. So yeah, that was Raw this week. So let's go to the new. Let's go to some wrestling news. All right, AEW could be a a Kayla Street hybrid show like, M- like not NBA cast on TNT and Max. So, WWE and the pros to receive good news. AEW should feel better about renewing deal with Warner Bros. Government to be so the impact. So AEW announced there again Netflix the flagship show with US. In 2025, January, they locked up SmackDown, the broadcast deals US Network and the CW Network, and yeah, whatever. It's launching in, um, we. <laughs> AW has some television party right, in Whataburn Discovery. So, AW Whataburn's WDD are just deep negotiations and their team rights deal. So, it's gonna, the, tea, the deal ends in, in 2024. So, 
months ago, there was concern if yeah, YouTube broadcast partner WWE meant Warner Bros. has a touch and raw DNC or TBS would likely result in LMS need to find a new TV home. Yeah. So, yeah. The possibility. Po- Alright, so Adrian Zaria and Matt Man podcast. Poor source mentioned it. Very possible AW to come a straight. Able streaming hybrid show, much like how NBA on TNT X. Yeah. Dying Man is ample air on Max and TV at the same time. NFL does it in Monday football across ESPN and ABC. Yeah. So, yeah. So there was a. There's a, so the source came from Andrew Zarian. There, he has been accurate with sources, so there's a possible chance it might happen. So yeah, mm-hmm. there's a possible chance. All right, another news: Kusuka Okada is allegedly allegedly headed to WWE. So apparently, Okada's leaving the New Japan this month. So expires. He was interested in WWE AEW at the sign of anyone. So WWE police, WWE, people WWE believe there's a chance better getting now for every free WWE made a stronger initial offer, but it's not no agreement has been finalized. Most probably here's people close to the card who sort of yet decision. People in AEW is coming in while WWE think he has a good shot of mine in because legacy could leave in WWE. According to my professor, a reliable source course close to Okada real Okada believed to be WWE bound. There's a mention of Okada starting his NXT journey NXT. Well, my issue on... Okay, that was Okada. Well, here's the thing my thought. I doubt it's real. I could be wrong. Monthly producer could be wrong for once. I don't think. I don't think Okada's going to be in NXT. He should be on the main... Ro- if he's going to go to WWE, he needs to go to the main roster. Like, have him appear to Rumble. Like... If they're going to bring him to the WWE, don't bring him to NXT. Bring his ass to the main roster. Don't put him in NXT. Okada does not need NXT. He is main roster material. What the fuck is wrong with WWE? They have to be that stupid. Or retarded. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking know. They, <laughs> they for month for us, they making this shit up. I don't fucking know. They the source close to Okada's making it up. We don't know, cause it's anybody's game. It's any ball. It's anybody's ball game. So, all right. Uh, another uh, one more news. Oh yeah, WWE Raw moving to Netflix. It's hard twenty twenty five. I did mention briefly, but we're gonna give you the detail. WWE announced that Monday Raw we moved to NF- Netflix starting in January twenty twenty five. So apparently, yada yada yada. Uh huh. Ne- Netflix has become the new home in WWE Raw in 2025. The long-term deal bring weekly live sports entertainment to Netflix. Mm-hmm. It will be exclusive Raw in US, Canada, UK, and America. Long territory countries guided on time. Over time, agreement on all WWE shows also outside of the available other shows. So, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, this is they said WWE the Netflix Raw mostly. Yeah. So yeah. Um, to Dynamite this week, we're gonna be reviewing Dynamite this week. All right, we're gonna be at uh, this week. Dynamite is at eleven. Okay, we we're yeah, we're gonna look at this week's dynamite anyway. We know where it's at, but we know where it's at. We had the car for for this week, so it is mm, okay. Thunder Rosa versus Red Velvet. Hardy versus Swerve Strickland. I mean Jeff Hardy versus Swerve Strickland. The Acclaim and Maddie A versus Mongol Embassy. Hangman Adam Page versus Delta Zero. Nito, Nito Suzuki with Adam Cole in the main event, and we got Warlow vs. Trent Beretta. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, let's start with Penta vs. Hangman Page. Pe- Dynamite opens to the coming to the ring. Welcome to the crowd, so Van George and Hope did not wait long to make his presence felt. AEW World Champs escaped while Youngstar dispatched several security guards. 
Penn and Page of Pennsylvania first match had a long exchange of taunts for locking up, making a clean break into the ropes. He up the, he up the ante quickly, found himself in a train shot to the ring. Score takes some take down, they went hangman, scored here for standing shoes are pressed. And it felt a other career release man. That nothing less than the match on the last disappoint. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> there's several usual singles. There's several count on, counts and counters made it for the pertains to time. Page scored the win with Buckshot Lariat. So, yeah. There were oscillation drillers who raised hook while Contra has hilarious because tests are left. A saying sharp press is always going to look cool. Someone has some connection. Jokes on who Uno Moss means that most people don't know what Chase and Iron is funny. Well, in past, we got Penta, one of the most distinct looks of wrestling. He never had a gear that wasn't awesome. Page should connect more with kicks, new things, and needs to work on so look a bit slow sometimes, you know. We go to Warlow versus Trent Beretta. Uh, yeah. Beretta and Warlow were competitors the second match of the night. Both men had stayed desire to win the world title, so they announced the plan this this that uh, could have title implications. You know, Warlow has a huge power, van- power advantage. He also had upper hand outside of the ring with Iron Kingdom at his side. All Beretta was the injured Chuck Taylor, Romero, and a capacity for backup. War Daddy had the most quick matches recently, but Beretta's no jobber. He gave him a good fight. He used a chair to get his advantage while Ruff was strapped it. Warlow was serving too much for Beretta. In the, in the end, though, it was much better than expected. And need to be, nobody called the match of the week. Warlow defeated Trent Beretta. Cassidy back to the interview was great. He speaks a bit more, showing good comic timing. We got Beretta turning DT to look so smooth. Warlow new straight corner had a great spot. Many had done. So, yeah. Uh, Perella is the interview stage with Ray Paquette, Tony Storm. Had a cell phone with Perella's the jealous and the camp running muscle stiff. There's the promo followed by another giant team, Kyle Valkyrie. Back to the ring versus Hardy. For those who don't forget, reminder, Masi was against Billy really Gay, a backstage promo, followed by another for Giant Team and Taya Valkyrie. We went back to the ring for Strickland versus Hardy. So Matt can't copy Jeff to the ring while Swerve sort of had Nana side by side. Jeff's last match showed a little bit lock better than he was in the ring for a long time. Continues is about these two and not much experience working together. Kind of bit of chemistry, chemistry strings who were just about anyone, but an extra to the match while with a veteran. Uh, fourth for Jeff, this match ended the same in a while, last one. Swerve has a train wide double stomp for the win. Swerve defeated Hardy. The hat color hat black white was his cool setup for the interview. So the usual dance, Jeff Hart started off to do the match the lead sign instead. Carl loved both of these competitors. It was surprising surprise that Hardy was getting more chance. And we go to Rosa vs. Red Velvet. On the Rosa made a turn dynamite. Wednesday, Velvet won her singles match in China for injury. This was her first encounter for these two. For these two. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Both women are bay faces, and near Tina Lolo kept the queen. Slight advantage out of the control of the paces. The decent contact with the one, two days. The great one of the finish. Rosa picked the win over Velvet. It seemed to be in momentum. Super heavy challenge for the heart for the TV championship. Okay, yeah. Thunder Rosa defeated Red Velvet. Rosa was great with a whole face paint. She used a paint paint design. Sometimes got healthily to plans to alternate. Velvet isn't big, but Rosa carried her around for a while while she impressed the display of strength. So, yeah. While well, main event still comes with Tom, not only 20 minutes in the show, it was clear that Fury Man the Champion wasn't very long. They claimed that he had to defend the belts against Toto Leon, Colin Big, Brian Cage, were looking to rebound and losing the ROH six man tag titles to 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 JY and the Guns. Even even with limited work with, they saw a commercial break, a lot of more chance matches in the by pitcher. These are the six capable wrestlers who can have a great match most night. Sometimes he felt here, it was hard. Tell it was a lack of chemistry, they didn't click the line. They actually picked up toward the end when everyone started parading and training to take down while sh- White showed up to the chair from Kama. Gone, but. Uh, um, uh, um, 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 um,
<laughs> Your clean daddy has to be more of a sleep. Prison is working double time this week. Page will be able to work as you go to the press impressive. And they both be sent to the floor. They look good. He went flying. Minoru Suzuki versus Adam Copeland. The main event between Suzuki and Copeland. Sorry about some minutes, but top out. They seem to go beyond the end of the show to finish the match. And there were no time waste of time. Started throwing hands through the contest. Started. Near men went down at the big exchange. So they regrouped and tried again. The radar suicide went down the knee and the hard hit backed up quick. So the lieutenant tried hitting, but it felt too short for any of you being hyped as much as it is. No, then you go 30 minutes, but there are less than 10 left showing the deal. Coleman got the win under spear, but made sure to show the suit to stack on the mic. Over the, the veteran did not turn the favor, though, and walked away growling. Coleman defeated. Minoru Suzuki. So, yeah, mm -hmm. he's, yeah he's a female Minoru Suzuki. Okay. Copeland learned less than and not playing Suzuki's entrance music. So, yeah, mm hmm. Mm hmm. And Copeland doing some good selling for Suzuki, especially during a couple of minutes, hours and minutes. And the spirit of Barricade looked good. And, yeah. Final word for Dynamite. Uh, yeah, my final word for Dynamite. Mm. AW has several great episodes of TV in recent months. So, Tend to be more down, stick down more. Should the arena long way? This was the episode of Dynamite. Some solid matches, promos. But some life feel like they get next day. The story is being told. Suzuki and Copeland met for the first time. It's interesting. Star and Perazzo killed it with an interview. Jeff Hart sort of put it on a good display. Nothing in the show is a must see, but it's not anything y'all should skip, honestly. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the Rampage Buzz, because I don't watch Rampage that much anymore. Alright, John Moxley defeated Lee Moriarty. You're welcome. Kanosuke Takashi defeated Christopher Daniels. You're welcome. Again, Energy defeated Ruby Saul. You're welcome. And it does lead to something development. So, yeah. Development. So, so is Kanosuke and. And someone mocks me. Uh, I'll give a fuck. We go to the main event. Versus Squee, four way eight of the international champ number contenders. You know, number contender. Like, all right. Basically, Sabian defeated Butcher, Age of Vigno, Commander, and Commander. Yeah. So it's gonna be Sabian versus Cassidy for the AEW International Championship. Will be on January 27th, the Collision Show. Ironically, it's gonna be at the Royal Rumble that day. So honestly, I don't give a fuck. That will be that was that was basically what happened last night. Collision happened last night. I will tell you, I'll tell you, like, I'll tell you, at, like, like after SmackDown, after the SmackDown review. But anyway, I'm not gonna review Royal Rumble. I'm not a WWE. I, I'm not into W. I'm not into the pay per views that much. WWE pay per views that much anymore. But I do, I do review main WWE shows like Raw and SmackDown. So yeah, that's part of my podcast system. So, yeah, thank you. All right, let's go straight to Ring of Honor now. Welcome to Ring of Honor. Let's get to Ring of Honor this week on Ring of Honor. Okay, Ring of Honor TV this week, we have NSB Akina versus Ring of Local Gravity. The two teams of Arco Scarf and Pruding Ground match. Yeah. Uh, tonight, this week's Ring of Honor Honor Club. With a win over a draw over Tavian Mike Fennin, who just will, will prevent the, the Lucha Doors a future opportunity at the, at, the, at the title shot. So that's fine. Now, if the page will continue his quest towards the shot of crown, crown champion, and he, as he will be asked on the road and searching for an from his title shot of Pete, Wally Mack, Ray Christian, face the front runner. Jericho Spectacle Battle, Cole Carter, and Greg Garrison. A pair of trios matches. The averages and Jack Jameson takes on Tree and D. Johnson of Valkyrie, Graham Diamond Face, Ross, Kara Hogan, and Trisha Dora. The standard card will feature a force of battle fist between Sim J, D. Drake, Josh Woods, and Rocky Romero. Let's start the righteous Dutch event defeated Anna Cameron Jackson. Judge started close by Jackson. Bits attack in, covering on Jackson. Until Jackson had a death of surpass before near fall. 
Casey came back with a back elbow take control. The righteous club on Jake Jackson until he got knees up and went to the elbow. And Anna tagged Sterner in for witness to Anna Jackson in the corner. Righteous would hit on Sunshine for the win. Nia Rose versus Lane Lock. Rose got the quick win with the beast bomb. Rose talked trash with Dino to the camera while she was leaving. Zack Knight defeated Anna Solo. Solo got jumps on the match, jumping Knight at the bell. Solo hit a drop kick, sending Knight open, but Knight rounded his solo and Larry. Did a stellar vertical suplex for five out of the crowd. Knight went four, but Solo would not have down when he had strikes. So, yeah. <laughs> solo clubbered on Knight and hit a drop kick, cut up into a comeback. You know, Knight cut a solo up, tied a rope, top of a uh, superplex. Knight won the four battle. For him, you know, ball. So we'll move down the way from that bar. Hurricane kick. So we'll hit a mighty spear over. Double stop for a near fall. And mm-hmm. yeah. Nice. Solo slap night. Firing night up. Night hit a springboard smoke and punch. And raise the edge corner. Or hit a running farm for the win. So yeah. What about this match is Zach Knight. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, um, yeah. We got a recap issue between Spanish and Alex Project, Cole Carter, and Greg Garrison. It, it, I mean, okay, Cole Carter, Greg Garrison, Maria defeated Spanish and Alex Project, Jericho Technical, Garrison and Chapel started with Jericho handed Garrison and Matt. Carter pulled Garrison on the ring and fell on the rest side, taking the Jericho down and ripped off. Carter tagged in, Cobra now jumped, while Jericho held up to the roof. Drop kick attempt. Gotta go tag in around Wiles. Carter wears on the floor. But drive, dive. Maria and a stretch and on. Then they have to go into the stairs. Maria and he'll go to the stretch and pull out the corner. Tag in Jellico. Jellico ran wild. Both men hit the stretch and head kick. Here fall. Jellico is off the leg lock. Garrison. Garrison kicking on to cheese shot the car. We got train and four men down. Gotta go tagging first and jump in back. Hey, oh, hit a cutter on your Then it's a near fall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mary trying to run Ratchet, but that's the goal of the way to charge for Garrett scored near fall. We attract the tip of the again around Garrett. Got to go down. We want to hurt Tactical more. This communication has the better goal to roll up. Near fall, then the furthest mess. Tactical and Garrett to hit this year. Hope for the win. Stop. To pull and juggle for leaving, celebrate. Yeah, great matchup. We got Blake Christian with Mac versus the Outrunners. Outrunners shook each other's hands instead of Christian and Max. Christian outpaced Floyd, starting mocking on red post. Christian took Floyd to the floor, hitting a positive flip. Then the ran in front line. Floyd hit a baseball side, kicked him down. Christian falls right to the corner, Mac. Mac hit a double noggin knock before hitting a spin. So near fall, Christian cleared a ring on Mick. Mac to hit a fall clutch for the win. Leo Diamond, Gray, Valkyrie versus the Hogan, Boss, and Dora. Hogan started Valkyrie hitting hip attacks with the rope. Hogan hit a near step lead drop on Valkyrie for near fall, but that tied out the Gray, Dora, Gray, Dora locked Gray in a ring on to a Boss King and Larry. Diamond tagged in for the four on that for in a row for a near fall. Gray tagged in his sling blade for near Valkyrie tagging his low drop kick. Dora Gary tagging in, Dora running wild. Dora hit a big boot. Top for near fall. Diamond broke up. Diamond dragged Gray over to the corner and tagged himself in. Landing kick. Dora hit a kneeling drop kick. Turn the suplex. For the suplex near fall. Valkyrie holding with each other. And then Diamond and Valkyrie on the floor. Mm-hmm. Diamond hit outside the bay. Team on Dora for near fall. Frost hit Gray to the floor. Ross and the Moonsaw Block and John Cena floor. Diamond vs. Power Slam for Frost Brothers. Uh, Dora to score the win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rachel Hellring and El- Hersh and Ellering were backstage with Lexi Nair. They put out how well they got along. I believe the other one would do well in the already women's tell- title tournament. Okay. Hey, Jonathan Overtree versus the Live Savages. Mm-hmm. 
Brock attacked Johnson early, but Jason took a Jockey tag in for two minutes. But Terry was working on Jason. Their tag in took out both interests and Dean got to the main city for the airfall. Savages iron slayed Dean, and then Dean eventually found a way back. Terry tagged the Bravo. Bravo went wild on Savages' hand, and Carly caught on Bronze on the airfall. Johnson and Jason tagged in with John's hand lifting a very easy for the win. Red Velvet defeated Harder, Header Reckless. Velvet got the quick win, Hurricane Kick. Night rolled from the locker room, throwing great Dean of Fear. Dina stopped her, rose put her over establishment that she took out Dean of Fear with the bill, rose there, so Dean and Velvet took both Nair and Bailey to follow her lead. She told Nair to grab Karen Tom and Karen Tate. Bone, he baited Cameron onto the table, putting him through a snare table, the toe star fall line. And yeah, uh-huh. Bailey starts to be to Lind. Lind got some chance on the town crowd. Starts got a quick win with a swan time bomb. He gets Hayes to be a clean lane. Hayes sends Lane high to sky with back by. Just caught Lane with a forearm. Lane caught Paige with a draw kick, but Paige held it over a rope for instead of back. Paige hit a big shoulder block. Lane fought on the Eagle's Edge and hit a draw kick. Paige moved on Moon's line slow to hit up at Eagle's Edge for the win. R.H. Sporting Man from America, Jared Lynn with Lexi Nair. Dolly Castle came in banging on Johnny T's locker room door. Lynn held Castle back as Johnny T came on the locker room. He did a split and pulled on the frame by Tyler Brown. No, because Tyler Brown poked her head out and called him a oh, loser. This was all quite wacky. Um, we got Ben and defeated Rabbit Renegade. Renegade talked trash to her. Started throwing Ben in the better butter. Ben hit a kneeling like code breaker in your fall. Renegade got his apron and a boot. Near fall. Renegade for a corner to her face button and then buckles. Ball. Bandit came out of bite for on Renegade. Uh, yeah. 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 Bandit had a new cutter for near fall. Renegade. Ball for near fall. Bandit roll. I told time for a hit up by Stella for the win. Race debut. Um, okay. Jack Tyrell to be in John Cruz. Carl debuted. Carwell did so. Carwell leans on Carwell kicks and Cruz perform. Carwell does Tiger Drill to the floor. Cruz more Timbal Weave. Carwell is in Carwell. Larry and Cruz. No more Carwell's on. When Carwell's on the belt, a black gold kick and a stalling elbow drop. Carwell Hill with Ball Draw Bill. Ryan with Depp Valley Drive Driver. A corkscrew flash for near fall. Cruz ripped Carwell off top rope there. I don't know what you missed the move, dude. They won't last. In one match, you're defeated, buffering. But Carlo won with some type of top room splash. Uh, in a match, Nacho Andrade defeated Henry Henry. I don't know what Andre, Andre about the water ball spot. They aren't doing a favor. That's not like a broken record when it comes to more four horsemen. But Henry looked great there. Henry took down Andrade with boot. But Andrade came back with headsets. Andrade said to Henry to flip it. Henry avoided Moonsaw hit Heimbreaker up the stairs. Henry were on the arm shoulder, but trying to be harsh from the dry hair spring is before, but falling with a dive. So, Henry just said, What about spot firing up? Henry was going to look on sleep, but I thought it fell out of it. I was going to Oh, but Henry caught him up, called Sonberger. Henry needed a cut from your phone. Uh, and Ryan with a double stop, hit a splash, splash fly from the near fall. So, yeah. Andrade went for his brain ball, but Henry cut him off of the forearm. Henry looked on the one arm brain, Richard, but that was very good. Boots for Andrade. Jack Dunn, a spring leg moves off for the win. We got a four corner survival match. Rocky Romero defeats Henry and Josh Wood for my son, James Drake. The big man, Wisdom Drake, cleared the ring for Rain Four. They trained Super. Or, then Jay Romero hit the dice for Henry to train Charles and Earl. Romero bay his son, Jay Four, for going into a dive. Warren's caught the river, hit a red hand on the floor. Then Jay Woods looked on red alarm for the ring for my son, Wood, and the son, Jay Dog. Near for Romero, for a back open, and Drake came in here with Wood. Drake and Romero left in the ring. Romero hit a headset and then Drake to the floor. Hit a drive with a clean man on the floor. So, yeah. Mm hmm. Woods from Romero hit a GYT on him. They could have Wood, two ball one to Sanjay and Flash. He hit both. Okay, I'm Jay, but the final call to Sanjay is sure for a win. Alright, um. 
Again, minor interruptions. Main event, ROH World Tag Team Time Proving Ground Match, Unstead Kingdom. Taven Ben vs. Rowdy the Local. Taven Star Local. Black about it. Talk about Taven's history of CMLL. Local to stack loose on Taven for tagging gravity to Taven down with head strength. Andre, the challenge symbol, Taven Ben X with four with men, daughter two champions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ben came back in local with Death Valley Draw on the ramp. Falling, yeah, just kept rolling. Taven hanging out with the ropes. Three, oh yeah, just now. Like, oh, that work. Then it was a and he's a tattoo of the rack. Yeah, mm hmm. 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 Mm the king had a Hail Mary for the win. So the king never won the proving round match. So yeah. And it was pretty much Ring of Honor. That was a crazy Ring of Honor week of Ring of Honor. Let's let's take to the two additional news. The Rock is reportedly has your about Roman Reigns match in WWE WrestleMania. Fans are gonna be wondering when the original beautiful top match WrestleMania 4 is in place. So did anyone believe those matches be Rose with Peter Champion, Roman and Pyong vs. World and CM Punk vs. World Champions are gone. The Rock return with Team Man Reigns uh, throwing a wrench in those plans. So Doug Milton reported that one person in the company noted that The Rock was headstrong by wrestling Rock at WrestleMania. And we got more from Melzer that The Rock had yet to sign a deal for that match of region but willing to do and want to wrestle. So I'm seeing it most likely going to happen. But yeah, Cody will not have his, his story anymore. And that kind of sucks for Cody in the long term. That honestly, we should do. You know, honestly, let's just be honest. Cody might not, so it might not be in the, Cody, uh, yeah, Cody's not, yeah, Cody's not gonna get a story at least until next week, like, I mean, until next year, you know, or summer 2024 to finish his story, so, yeah, so, it's what it is, so, yeah, let's go, no, not a, one more for now, okay, Mufasa Ali head to TNA, Mufasa Ali head to TNA Wrestling, there you know, Thursday night TNA pack episode, a video package, Shown or gonna change it during the end of the video. Ali made an appearance, first in agreement with the message. So, you already know last September, Ali was forced, was released with departure. He worked on uh, uh, indie dates, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, like independent dates, so yeah. So, yeah, basically, Ali's gonna be today for a bit with independent dates, and eventually he'll settle down in AEW in, in the future, maybe in 2025 or late 2024, either way. Let's get to smack. Let's go now. Review to SmackDown. SmackDown review. Let's get to it. Mm-hmm. SmackDown review. All right, we got our um, review on SmackDown. This week on SmackDown. Mm. So Cole faces LA Knight. Carmelo Hayes takes on Austin Theory. Speak. So on this week's SmackDown from the Chaos Center in Miami, Florida. So one night before before the Rumble, like like the week, like like before the Rumble, challenge with Chania. Like LA Knight looks to pick up one last win as he collides with Rain Stalemate, Sakola. Knight had history of bloodline, so he retribution since coming up Tribal Chief at Valen June last year. Come out, hey, Austin Theory squared off one another in singles competition. 12 match on Spencer came to an end with Cole early. Both men suffered injuries. Tonight, they always say it's in a rematch with one another, but to put it just aside. Tension has been arrived between Testament and Bashley and the Prophets are dating back to January 5th from Smackdown. Baltras have been by Shy and Latin, Ford, Ford and Angelo. Lock in the line of Karen Cross and return to WWE. Just such a last and profit challenge a fantastic week in person. The latest able will take place tonight. I retained the women's tag team championships over the hell unholy during last week's Smack episode SmackDown. King Carter Chance will be putting the title on the line once again more than it controls Oscar and Carrie Sane. Oscar and Sane called their shot the Carter defense. This is Bosco Arte and former fat tag team members and general and better defender later. Yeah, six man tag team match. 
be a far on news for better or every time be tonight's show this week. So we go with her for Orton. Orton said Roman had held the world title for almost for about a hundred about 1300 days first it hurt her he said no one can stop with the blood except for him he says once the dust clears and settles smoke will all number benefit team because he will become a 15 time world champion wins the field 40 match bullets had plans on doing that by beating Roman Reigns with an RKO and he stopped me as a kiss he laced his way down the ring he has already realized that her people in the match tell them they have to know all this she gets a cola take him off his head but he Tonight, he's along as Orton been in the He should know better than bringing the history. LA Night music hits me from down the ring. Says, What the fan? Brian O'Halley will win the fatal four way match, and everyone's stepping over him. I just really think he wants to fight the cola. He says he sees four men that match. He has a match. Colin said he did soft enough tonight. I say he'll fight where he has to say he'll walk over come the WWE World WWE Champion. Knight heads back to the back, leaving Styles on the ring. Styles delivered a pale kick to Orton, and then W.O. and Rick the wins on the ring. The, the Phasma follows the bell ring. It was one off like some high flying match, some control. Cody versus Escobar. And now after that, we get Escobar ripping Carter's shirt off, tapping shoulder, the roof elbow to the injured shoulder, deliver Amline her. The submission tagging, and if he continues to target, cut his shoulder, stomps his shoulder, and stuff. Cartier levels some drop, close and drop, K falls, a swing, neck breaker, spine buster. Very neat, close line, will come back. Her birth will have some apron, cat breath retention on cars, and then crash. You know, W go down the general and Humberto. Del Toro goes off the top of the blood, everyone drop, pause, and have nowhere to level leg of the bottom of the whole car to go win. Santos Escobar the wins. So we get back from the. We come back. We see NC Jump. We oldest. Last Prophet walking. Let's draw his number for the spot in the Rumble. Phasma. That's quite the same. We have Baylor back to his history. The big person and Jordan as far. Rumble. The big Warriors came to the ring. Back. We see Archer drawing number for the men Rumble. Back in ring five. Charge chance. Hand it down. Bookie Warriors versus. The, the party girls, whatever. Car and, and Asuka Banger action, the bell rang, what? Car goes to Asuka and stuff. Then Asuka leveled her and came back. And back, we come back. Warriors double team on chance. Chance Lower Bridges. The legal Asuka on the ring and stuff. Then we have Chance fighting her up, tagging Carter. Carter is across by the Warriors outside. Then let's go back on the ring, little bam, boot to the face. He hit a spring more leg drop. Tags in, Warriors double team on Carter. And we got Lover saying the Lover fighting back fist to Carter. Sends Lance saying elbow. Carter has got boost up. Same task, Oscar. Carter delivered the bat to Oscar. Tags in, chance ascends to the top. Pam. There was a keg stamp. Keg. Carter goes for the pin, but. Same breaks the fall, ties it back, and instead that's hot enough to land there after party, but same take hit the hit for the skull, send chance to that mouse and the spine first and whatever. Same tags that sense of top to the elbow and that's gonna hold it in place for the win. Um and here's a little tidbit, like Oscar was doing a, a scorpion death draw, um similar to how Darby and Sting used to do. So yeah. The new tag team champions, the Kabuki Warriors, and the new women's tag team champions. So, lastly, and Profits made a raise the ring. And we have, you know, we got Baylor, Baylor picking the number one as Rumble. We got last three in Testament of the Ring. So, apparently, last year, hit Profit chasing cowards again. They just they realized that people might can't see a fight called and the table in their own. Scarlet gets the ring last year, called the Proud Testament Cowards and Scarlet in the Ring. There's no fear in Karen Cross. Karen Cross said, Others pays the truth. Season last year, Prophets is for frustration. Last year's no longer in control. Technically honor the green face to face, but they won't get their fight tonight. He said he'll get Cross credit for credit for Perrin, but lie when he said they're in fighting tonight. Prophets made a rant to borrow the final testament last year. The Spar jumps on the back. Cross slides the rain, blinds on him for a dog pain, getting the rain. Prophets and attack them. Whatever. Anyway. I don't care, whatever. And, I don't know. I don't know. 
Mm-hmm. I'm just thinking about something else tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do have candy, but uh, whatever. Back in the race, uh, Dory, Grace, and Mason are waiting around the thing. Grayson follows. We have an orange. I have an orange. Just don't use that much. The bone ring theory shows hail, faint, same thing. Oscar once went theory first to fall while grabbing his tights. So that's a match baller. Hayes and Jerry Jones in. Trick runs down. We provide Hayes with a win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. Uso versus Nine Nine. So it was basically a bell rain. Two men fight it off. He did a shoulder attack to turn a kick. So it was like catching the right hand. It was a cola dominating. Night Night started fighting back. But Nightman, no one won. It was a double DQ due to outside appearance. Then we, we uh, then after the match, after the like, sauce hit him, hit Night. He could crash ring start. Jimmy grabbed the chair. Stop, stop, picks it up, instead of hitting night, but it's a cool Jimmy way it's dead. Use the kids to connect the power salon giants and Orton to the snatches. And the fight Orton fights them off. The crowd talks over the hanging knee to Jimmy, does the same style, hit our camp. Orton stands tall, the show goes off the air. So yeah. So yeah. That was SmackDown. Well, so we're ready to collision now. Now we're back right onto the final, final fun collision, collision, uh, collision is big. Okay, <laughs> this is collision. Before that, um, last night's Rumble uh, press conference, Triple H did not answer the situation involving Vince. So, but also remember, he's one of the corporate, like, involved in this Vince's problem. So, I doubt. Well, Triple H be able to stay employee for, for at least, you know, a year or so. So, all right, now we got out of the way. Let's go straight to collision. Mm-hmm. So, let's talk about the intense rivalry between Antonio Garcia and the House of Black. It came to an honestly came to a head sat last night, Saturday, in collision, a six man generation ta- steel cage match. That main event headlined broadcast. Also, it also featured a dream bout between Dan- Brian Danielson and a new. N- NJWP owning New Japan pro wrestling legend Yuji Nagata to the action fear Moxley and Claudio Casanova plus these first match in 2022 2022 who were victorious from up and giving steel cage in the main event final in the recap broadcast this week okay here's the card again let's talk about the card okay let's talk about the card once again skate the cage on your match FTR Garrett Game Garcia versus House of Black. Brian Danielson versus Yuji Nagata. Mostin Casanoli versus Lee Moriarty. Jane Taylor. The Crown uh, uh, Champion Eliminator match. Ian Kingston versus Willie Mack. Saria Di Manacha. International Championship match. Orange Cassidy versus Commander. Mia May versus Lee Frost. John Nastic. Claudia Casanoli versus Jane Taylor. Me Moriarty. That's 24 hours after John Moss extended his hand and signed of respect. Lee he jumped down by the young star. Former Ring of Honor TV champion Shane Taylor is joined by Costanoli for a tag team match against the heels. Good physical bout to Moran near defeat. Moss had to counter raise Shane Mark Choke with a bridging pin instead. Black Bull Comet Club his way back into the pin. Hatch and Moxley submitted Tyler for the win. The else, the showcase from Mariah, who has flirted with the BCC before and would make a pair of addition to the group. In the opposite direction, things are heading right now. They jump Mox and Rampage. It's something 30 Con created for and can revisit because it fits very well. We had to inject a little Tiger Stand to Black Bull Combat Club. Oh, Moxley, Castanelli to free Shane Taylor and Mariah. So, Moxley injured, injured, nursed an injured hand, allowing to see heels to control by isolating Castanoli. Castanoli roared Taylor down, barrage, coastline, setting him to the floor. 
All right, Connor Bill not choke. Probably learns the name of his loss. It's a four one one time one night earlier. No, so, EW International Championship, Arch Cassidy versus Commander. Commander won a fourth way frame on four way match on Rampage on a shot. The Arch Cassidy EW. So, Championship, the match was a result, was not good as expected. Cassidy's provability of quality match with the rest of the various styles, backgrounds, and styles, resulting in smooth and spots more than cohesive. The president of Roger Strong, Matt Tate, Bennett, Rayson, and Khan, and Stella Store, the former chairman Cassidy for to a title set of finish with our commander wiping their ring style on ER Orange Punk from the champ. Someone liked the match on his mold, but it's like a disjointed matchup. Cassie defeated Commander. Um, Strong Bennett he interrupted Pussy Orion ring sign to the pro show. Very commercial break it was. Well, let's see. What do I gonna say? The torque on Commander Hurricane to Cassie was super impressive. Maria May versus Lee Frost prior to commercial. Garcia was found beaten down, bloody by unknown assailant. That he magic broke into the pleasure of Garcia turning his back on his former so teammates found him sus- uh, suspicious. Back in the arena, Murray and Ray score with Lady Frost. The match was not set the perfect set the bowl, a few spots, but it's an issue for Frost shine. Many for many fans will be chanted for late while Baby Face the match was more appreciation for showing it because they wanted to be a villain. Many of the talents of his one similar competitive match not necessarily give her a few folder and let her beat her a few minutes, pick up most on cause tested win. Not everyone has to be managed to have a back and forth battle. So on full display display here, May defeated Frost. Ty's Toy Source squad appearing in Bowser City and Zena Coin. I am not welcome to the city. I have some race horses that it has to be put down. More fun stuff from the best character in Elite Wrestling. A poor attempt at Suplex City chance. Change the German still pass X and A for effort at least. May's bump on uh, Frost is pretty much supposed to be tested. Chance of Frank Frost broke out, which is somewhat problematic based on the intent of this match. <sighs> Eddie Kingston versus Wayne Mack. And Arena. Rick. The Triple Crown Chant and Eddie Kingston battle of Wayne Mack, a proving ground match with Victor for the letter of putting him at attention. A spirit bout and about uh, Mac pushed the kings and winning some pegful bouts to triple champion. American triple crown champion Gus spinning back for the score of the victory. Important match was the rush of some bright that's disrespectfully interrupted. <laughs> Kingston celebration, bullying passed with outdoor. They tested this site for faith test for the American Dragon suggests that she's between now and far for settled despite Kings and victory at World's End. Mm-hmm. Uh, Usually the God of his Brian Danielson. For the moment, Danielson God was announced for Saturday show. They've been noticed when Saint went most among the at the pro wrestling world while there's some over a match without a classic. To the little special of the high hitting musical fight concept, Danielson time. Need a pony while God will push the earth on the American Dragon. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, me put God and dance. <laughs> a great bad kind of heel, whatever. Where follows on the king's thin and kind of talk for you to dance. Why? Why is wrong with him? Why is wrong with him? Why is wrong with him? What the fuck? Why is wrong with him? You just. Oh, fuck. So many of them, are uh, not right. He opened it out. The problems. The beat the shit. The beat the shit out of each other. 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 Anger. Rage and teeth. Must. There's so many years watching. It's all a sad story. A sad. A sad Oh yeah, take away the contract, can't say, do everything, slam and turn, bang down, dancing. Tina the gate is fast, having physical match like this. It's a counter and the guy's face, face with knee bar, knee guitar throughout the match. Serena D versus Robin Renegade. 
Serenity returned to the ring for the first of 2022. Can't say sandals and hot dish. That's the first time they picked their opponent part. They're going to take talks, step around, and start anywhere. Okay. Okay. Alright. Sorry, the AEW. Okay. Please. Dave, Shay's welcome. Shout out to the chorus. I don't know, man. Oh, yeah. And Energy and Dubs, Dave's direction. Yeah. Her post match promo to benefit the energy was very good. Motivation, champion, inspiration, carries with her. Let's see what that means, man. Send. Most my problem benefit the energy of any good lady on emotions, chance, and inspiration carries with her. Preceding match for dancing that got a red vacuum. That's been the best segment. Do you defeat a red gun? Or again, and the game. Backstage, Mark Grissel off the draft here for the ninth main event. It's next attack on Garcia. She has a master now. She has a PhD. Nothing against. She even a crowd fired up. And our guys were such a handsome match. Here to put all wrestling back in all the right? says for special Zabi champion. This is what I do, this is who I am. Take the time when you come out. We a team where we want to remember to get the cage. Moments at the house of black attack. Yeah, let's go get a cage elimination. Imagine there are singers, Crash Rover, Black Black Rover King, and And this is a bad match. I lost so much. This is a bad match. 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 This is a the control of balance position, they next to the cave. I need June's heart missing on Garcia was reserved the win as resilient pitter for Hans's young star. Fish saw him recovered, Burgess go slam the cave down the back to the head. I think Garcia hit the forehead with the mat. The match with a moon piece can prove my match with Burgess, but that's due. But L executed, but spotlight Garcia and Chris Sarah with new creative efforts of late. Everyone here to be the house of black. Here's your escape. King Harvard, Wheeler, Matthew Garcia for the winner. Here's my moment. Take away. Well, King hurled breath called the stage to retain attention and his wrist in the match. Garcia wrenched the ring. His head bandaged. He'll bend on drain. Jack be in the match. He launched some top cage. Wiping out competition. Fuse. Also, my lion champion. Rose to the arena. We took another big bomb from the case. 
moment that benefit the team attempt to win. Let's see if we're back in the cage stand. Crashing your nerd table on the floor. Hurt, blind, aggressive, and blackness. One of my thoughts was, oh, this was Kalesa. I'm faced with a paper per competition, the former W. Gordo Wambo. We put together a car featuring the Van May Love Specs. Home. Perfect show, not a means. Well, a fan went down. Probably not much beyond Sox Saturday, but quality after return to three. Do you handle well as anything? Turn comes booked over the last year. This is a, this is a good thumbs up for me. As my th- good thoughts for collision. Yeah. So yeah. Um. This is Augusta Holly podcast. I'll I'll see y'all next Sunday as usual. Bye. And ready to wrestle.